sea turtle. The leatherback sea turtle has been called a modern dinosaur due to its size and age. It has survived for over 100 million years, but is now at risk as of extinction with approximately only 35,000 in existence worldwide. The leatherback sea turtle is the fourth largest sea reptile alive and largest sea turtle, reaching up to 1.8 meters in length and 600 kilograms in weight. It is different from other sea turtles because it doesn't have a shell on its back or carapace, but is covered in leathery flesh and bone plates. The leatherback moves well through the water because of its large fin that it uses as paddles, its teardrop shape, and smooth carapace. The fastest it's been recorded to swim is 35 kilometers per hour. The leatherback sea turtle dives deep because it's going after food. It can go as deep as 1,200 meters. The leatherback has a unique metabolism where its arteries and veins are closer together to warm, returning blood to the heart, which along with its thick, oily skin, enables it to keep blood warmer than the temperature of the surrounding sea. This allows it to dive deeper and travel in more colder water and find more food sources. The leatherback has two main habitats which it migrates between, its nesting ground and its feeding ground. The breeding ground can be found in tropical and subtropical climate zones, such as Costa Rica, Indonesia, and Guyana. Leatherbacks re always return to build a nest on the beach with a smooth, gentle slope in the same area where they were hatched. It curls up the beach at high tide at night so there's less risk of being preyed on upon. She lays her eggs in a hole she has dug, and 60 days later, the turtles hatch and have to fend for themselves. then travels up 900 kilometers to find the best breeding grounds, often found in northern climate zones like found in the Atlantic Ocean, California, and Russia. The leatherback sea turtle mainly eats jellyfish, a lot of jellyfish, but they also consume other types of gelatinous zooplankton, like squid and maybe sea urchins. While in their feeding grounds, they eat 50 to 100 percent of their body weight per day in order to fatten themselves up for the migration breeding grounds. The leatherback has become critically endangered over the past 20 years due to human interference. Its population has been affected by many factors including hunting of eggs and leatherbacks by humans, loss of habitat as their smooth soft beaches using for nesting have been developed for tourism, pollution in the sea, particularly when they mistake plastic bags for jellyfish, getting tangled in fishing lines and nets, and climate change affecting the jellyfish population. Though their main threat is humans, their predators are the killer whale, tiger shark, and cephalopod. If the leatherbacks died out, the food chain would be affected because the population of jellyfish would rise a lot. Another thing it would affect is that its predators would have less to eat. My organization is the Sea Turtle Conservancy, their aim is to help leatherbacks and sea turtles in general. They have different projects, such as attaching sensors with, which monitor migration, nesting and feeding, and activity like swimming speed and diving depth. They also have a leatherback adventure, which is a more educational way to get you aware. You go and collect data for the leatherback, learning more about them as you go. They also allow you to adopt a turtle. Leatherback and other sea turtles. My organization's effect, efforts are helping especially with the monitors that track the leatherbacks. This is helping both scientists for learning more about them and it also means that if a leatherback is caught in a net or in danger they can go help it. I think the adopt a turtle is a success because you can track it yourself and, and it makes the organization take care of it, making sure it's safe. It's difficult to make a big change because the leatherbacks have such a wide migratory path which covers many countries. There are things you can do to help.
donate money for rehabilitation of sick or injured leatherbacks, help countries pass laws to limit human behavior, hunting, fishing tactics, development on nesting beaches, and don't buy products made from leatherbacks. This species has lived for over 100 million years. Does it have to die now?